Welcome back to News 12. Now this morning, we are so blessed this morning to have an amazing chef right here in Chattanooga that owns his own restaurant. He also recently won Chopped. $10,000. And a little bit of money as well. Yeah, no <laughs> doubt about it. Say hello and good morning to Chef Kenyatta Ashford. Chef, thanks for joining us. Thank you. Thank you for having me. What went through your mind when you got to call? You are going to be on Chopped. Uh, I was uh, I was excited and uh, the, the call came on a Monday. Mm -hmm. I was asked to be uh, in Knoxville on a Wednesday to film on Thursday. Wow. Uh, they had a last minute can cancellation because somebody had a, a positive COVID test and they called me to be their replacement. Wow. Tell us a little bit about the experience. I've watched the show numerous times. It's pretty interesting what they put in the basket and you have to really come up with an amazing dish with some kind of unique ingredients. I'll put it that way. Yeah, very, very much so. Imp improvisation is, is key and uh, being, being calm and uh, trying to think on your feet is, is really important. So. Tell us a little bit about some of the ingredients that you had. Uh, for the, the, uh, the dessert round, uh, we had to make a dessert with corn dogs, uh, chocolate covered <laughs> strawberries, uh, cereal yogurt, and, and cookies. Uh, so I decided to make a rice pudding and uh, the, the rice pudding, and then I made a, a streusel with the corn dogs and the cookies. And uh, I think the judges really loved it. Prior to this, in your wildest mind's eye, did you ever think that you'd be making a dessert with corn dogs? I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, you never know what to expect. How did you know the streusel? I, I mean, just did it come to you like that? You knew what to do with it? Yeah, I think it did. Yeah, I immediately saw the cookies and, and the corn dog is like, I need to make a streusel. And what's cool about it, you don't have to use the entirety of each ingredient. You can take something from each ingredient and come up with a dish. So that, that made it a little bit easier. When you were getting down to the last few minutes of the final episode, what point in your mind, or was there a point in your mind where the trigger flipped and you thought, I got this in the bag? I don't know if I actually thought I had in the bag, but uh, when, at the end, when the, the person I was competing against uh, didn't get all of her ingredients into her dessert, I, I kind of began to become uh, really confident that I might have a chance at winning. And you did win. Yes. $10,000. Yeah. What did you do with the money? Uh, I put it back into my business. Uh, Neutral Ground uh, is located downtown in downtown Chattanooga at 422 East Martin Luther King Boulevard. And, uh, we have been expanding, and since the episode uh, of CHOP was, uh, was released, you know, business has, has been pretty good. Tell me a little bit more about the restaurant. If someone captures you on an elevator, you got 30 seconds to sell them on the neutral ground restaurant. What do you say? I would say our, my concept is one that uh, fuses, you know, two things that I really love. Uh, my upbringing in New Orleans and the food of my hometown and my discovery of the cuisine of West Africa. You recently traveled there. Yes, yes. I traveled to Ghana and Benin, and I went on two food pilgrimages uh, with uh, several other chefs. And uh, it really opened my eyes to a lot uh, that uh, West Africa has to offer in cuisine. Absolutely. So yes. folks want to go check out this restaurant. It's amazing. He's an amazing chef. Yeah. Again, it's located on Martin Luther King Boulevard. Yes. You All said right. 422? 422 Martin Luther King Boulevard in the Proof Bar Incubator. There you go. Gotta love it. Yeah, we're gonna go check it out. Uh, you'll be hearing more from Chef Kenyatta Ashford, I'm positive, over the coming months and years. Check him out on the web. We have to take a quick break, and we're back with more of News 12 Now this morning after this.